Mama. So, so you go, Mike Melbourne Cup is a race that stops a nation. This is a mare that has two nations agog. And there's the scene in Melbourne, everybody watching. They're loading up the last few. Cheers from the crowd as Black Caviar is installed safely. A couple of them are getting restless. Moonlight Cloud is going to go forward now. This is her biggest challenge here at Royal Ascot. The Diamond Jubilee Stakes. Start a holding them. Society Rock is just rearing. A couple of them very edgy. Set. They're racing in the Golden Jubilee. And Black Caviar's got away to a good start. Society Rock began badly. Sold is going to be the early leader. Out in the centre, Black Caviar travelling on the near side, getting a lead from Bogart. Out in the centre, Jimmy Styles, followed by Escalab. And further back then is Restia Dajon. Moonlight Cloud takes up a position in the middle of the field from the checker. Pastoral player is further back in the field. They're followed then by Krypton Factor. Red Rock is out the back in company with Jenky. Then Sirius Prospect, who's at the tail of the field as they race up now towards halfway. And Sol the leader from Bogart. And now Black Caviar rambling up on the near side. In third. They're a length to Escalar, followed by Krypton Factor and Jimmy Stars and Restia Dajon, and further back is Genki, but as they come up now onto the course proper, two furlongs left to go. Sol is the leader. Now Nolan starts to shake the reins at Black Caviar. She starts to move up on the near side. She draws level now with a furlong left to go. Now he says go on the mare. She gets about a half length in front of Sol. Restia Dajon, Moonlight Cloud coming home fast, but it's Black Caviar in front with a hundred yards left to go, here's Restia Dajon and Moonlight Cloud, he eases up near the line, here's Moonlight Cloud, it's tight, Black Caviar and Moonlight Cloud in a photo, in third then Restia Dajon followed by Sol, further back is Krypton Factor and that serious uh, prospect back in the field from Society Rock, Bogart the last to finish, he has eased near the line and this is tight, this is very, very tight indeed. Black Caviar flashing home down the outside moonlight cloud as they race towards the line. Oh, she might have just got the bobbin. She's got there. She has scraped home. She has got there by a nostril. The winner. Is number 11 Black Caviar and the cheers of the crowd and the relief of Peter Moody. He will not be a happy man. Luke Nolan will have a look at it again near the line, but this is the reaction in Melbourne in Federation Square. A cheer from the As they know now that Black Caviar has scraped home in the closest of finishes to the Diamond Jubilee Stakes. There is Black Caviar. Look at Luke Nolan riding so confidently near the line. But look at the swoop down the outside from these two. He's riding so confidently as they get towards the line. But Moonlight Cloud in the white and in the centre, Restia d'Argent, the two French horses are swooping. And as they hit the line, it's Black Caviar by a short head. And this fantastic mare has now won 22 races in a row. 22 straight. She has won the Diamond Jubilee at Royal Ascot in the Queen's Diamond Jubilee year and Luke Nolan takes her down the track and in front of this enormous crowd a crowd of about 80,000 here at Royal Ascot today these global sprint races but but Willie he almost pulls up last sort of well, eight strides look he is pushing her out there he's got his stick waving he gave her a little tap there uh, backhander another little backhander and oh he has his he's flicked her a few times and obviously now. now he's he's sort of kept her, keeping her balanced he hasn't stopped he stops riding now and he's oh yeah, now, yeah. All right. let, let me ask you an honest question has he mistaken the winning line yeah well uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see we'll wait We'll wait and see what he says when he gets back. But he, and he did see actually uh, stop riding there for a stride or two.
And you but, can see there the, the conflicted emotions of all of those associated with bat caviar as they thought, oh my word, she's been caught. And then the jubilation when it is confirmed that she has not been caught. She's hung on and she has won the Diamond Jubilee.